I think fine arts are really important because it introduces you to a different set of people that you don't necessarily know exist unless you go into these classes and these communities really help you explore other opportunities that you have outside just classes that you might take like math, English, science and it introduces you to different ways to approach life that you might not have noticed before. Fine arts classes in my opinion teach you a lot of life skills like thinking out of the box and creativity, they encourage creativity and they encourage you to think in a way that a math class, for example, maybe wouldn't. It's a really fun way to express yourself and um, explore different aspects of the world. You learn a lot about life, you learn about people around you, about the world, and you can apply that to all your other classes. For me, personally, my fine arts classes are an aisle of serenity in a busy day filled with other demanding classes. Fine arts are my chance to relax, to de-stress and say, okay, this is where I can be me. It's not really stressful and you can just relax and hang out with your friends. It's a really fun thing to do, to kind of get in a space that's not all about academics and get in a space that it's about you and what you like to do. I think that taking a fine art is very important to have a break in your day and have an opportunity to express yourself other than the traditional ways of having math and science and English classes, but to have another creative outlet during your day. A lot of your schedule in high school is very stressful, very strenuous, and you need these breaks in the day to you know, find enjoyment, to find some time to be you. It allows you to find hidden talents or passions that you may not have known about yourself before. The creativity that it provides you and the many opportunities that you'll gain from it go beyond the music or the art classes themselves, but the skills that you gain from them. Without a doubt, the th earliest thing that influenced me was Folk Dancing Club at Country Meadows. This was with Mrs. Wilner, if I'm not mistaken, and just how much fun I had dancing Red River Valley. I remember in middle school, in middle school band, we took a lot of really fun trips. Um, I remember once we took a trip to St. Louis and we played there and it was absolutely amazing. Um, just the bonding experience with other band students and also the feeling of accomplishment we had afterwards was so amazing. I really enjoyed uh, making scratch boards or working with scratch boards where we had little toothpicks and we scratched into the black surface of the paper and underneath there was all these rainbow colors and it was kind of an insignificant activity that we did. However, I really liked it. I thought it was super fun. I liked the colors and I always beg my mom to buy me more scratch board and so I can continue doing stuff like that. Um, and I wanted to and I think that encouraged me to continue with art. The most memorable uh, experience that I had was a concert probably in seventh or eighth grade when we actually could play together and all the strings matched and it was just this resonating feeling that I felt throughout my whole body and that was the first connection that I could truly feel to all the other people in the orchestra and it was something I've remembered ever since. In middle school, I remember my friends and I sitting around a lunch table and we would just doodle and kind of critique each other and that kind of helped me find my own style and kind of connect with people further. This is a specific memory, but I remember my uh, fifth and sixth grade teacher, Mr. Kikas, taught me this cool drum rhythm, playing a paradiddle on the drum, and I just wanted to be able to do something super amazing and impress myself that I was able to learn something. When I was at Daniel Wright, I was in Beauty and the Beast, and I was cast as the baker. And I remember how excited I was. I had two lines, and it was, I would look forward to rehearsal every single day to say my two lines, and it just made me really excited, and I thought that that feeling I wanted again in high school. I think fine arts encourage creativity, and creativity, in my opinion, is super important and can be applied to all aspects of life, your social life, politics, which I think is really important. I've learned how to uh, talk in front of people, especially in big crowds, and just how to be more confident about 
who I am and who I support and what I support and it just made me a better person. I want to go into musical theater professionally so I'll take my theater classes and singing all into my life. I think the two most important skills are um, being able to work with others and also be able to be confident speaking to others. Fine arts give you a really unique opportunity to learn how to work hard and because you really see the results through the work that you put in and it shows you the importance of working hard and not just going halfway and doing everything full out so that you can achieve the best results. Being in a band of almost 400 people for three years as a leader has made me challenge my leadership skills. With fine arts you learn a lot about how to express yourself with others and uh, tell a story which I think is really important uh, especially with all the technologies these days that you know how to communicate with people around you. Fine arts is, to a certain extent and to a greater extent, about dedication. The rigor of practicing an instrument every day or keeping on working at shading or any sort of thing like that, understanding chords or learning the steps of a dance, all require dedication, practice, and moreover require you often to work as an ensemble, as a group. Team building skills that work in everyday life, not only in the narrow realms of a theater or a gallery. Thank you so much for introducing me to the arts, for your patience, and for all the projects we did both in and outside of the classroom. Uh, Mr. Eifert, my eighth grade band teacher, oh, and seventh grade, but uh, thank you for inspiring a love for music in all of your students, not just me, but every single person sitting in that room just saw how much you love music and it inspired all of us to continue on with music in high school. Thank you for allowing a more creative aspect of the classroom so that it's more interesting to learn and more easy to connect with the curriculum. Most specifically I'd want to thank Miss Kruper. She was my course teacher in Aptekissik. She was uh, the kindest lady I've ever had the honor of being in a class with. I just want to thank them for like pushing me and helping me and just like inspiring me throughout the way. They're contributing to the next generation and that's something that only teachers, and especially fine arts teachers, can truly see the impact. Fostering people's creativity at an early age really promotes them to continue that in their future, which makes for better interpersonal skills and just creative thinking, which sometimes we need. Mrs. Wilner, Mr. Rathgaber, Ms. Westbecker, Ms. Rosen, Mr. Kral, thank you, thank you so much. I'm going into the profession of music education myself, so here's to you.